I have a lot of people who dislike my video about Damien Wayne's movie trilogy. One guy brings up why my review is bad. He has some good points, but when I try to address his points by, well, replying to him, he doesn't reply. Why? I don't know. Damien Wayne's fan base is a church who is afraid of facts and opinions. I'm gonna talk about the movie that makes me say, you know what, if I see my Bad Blood trilogy review being put on DVD, I'm gonna burn it right away. Why? Because this movie is... Justice League vs. Teen Titans is unfortunately not the crossover between the two animated superhero series of the same name, but it's a crossover between characters that are in those animated superhero series of the same name. First, we have the Justice League establishing themselves as a the bunch of ass-kicking badasses, but it is completely ruined thanks to Robin V aka Damian Wayne saving the day for them. That's right, Robin saves the entire Justice League. The Church of Damian strikes again. Anyway, Damien Wayne is established in the intro as a complete jerk, which completely renders the other three movies that are supposed to develop his character entirely freaking pointless. Yay! So instead, we have my favorite superhero team, the freaking Teen Titans, in order to shape him out of his stubbornness and hate and put him a shade lighter into a more tolerable character. The movie starts off pretty rocky, but the Teen Titans save this movie. The overpowered son of God that is Damien Wayne challenged Blue Beetle in a fight. The Church of Damien prays to their lord and savior, and he wins! At, at that moment, I am ready to freaking tear this movie up into pieces until... That's right, Church of Damien. Your lord and savior is nothing. Blue Beetle just burned his freaking head off. Thank you so much! Of course, Raven heals him later, and do you know the kind of face that he made after that fight? Oh my god! That is the face of regret. That is the face of guilt. That is something that I can relate to. Thank you, DC. Just thank you. As you can see, we have the Teen Titans members with Robin, in this case, Damon Wayne, plus Blue Beetle as a replacement for Cyborg. Cyborg, just in case you missed it, is a part of the Justice League team right now, replacing another black guy from the team, Green Lantern, aka Jon Stewart. I honestly don't know where he is right now. He just disappeared out of the ether. Instead, I'm going to focus on the Teen Titans and how they portray their character in this particular movie. And thankfully, this movie does it well. It's refreshing to see a more realistic interpretation of the Teen Titans, at least significantly more realistic than Teen Titans Go. Garfield Logan, aka Beast Boy, finally embraces his human identity and becomes a really funny, lighthearted dude that brings a huge light to the entire team. Jaime Reyes, aka Blue Beetle, is pretty much the same as his young Justice Carter part, and he's good. Coriander aka Starfire is the leader of the entire team and surprisingly she's pretty good. Her design is a little weird and I still prefer her animated version but her actual personality is actually an upgrade of her animated version and it completely overshadows her look. At least she's not banging Jason Todd in that awful comic series. Since Raven is the main character in the movie, we'll all get to get to her later after we talk about the story. So what is the story of this movie? The story is basically the Trigon arc of the Teen Titans animated series and since I watched that, I really can't find myself to be surprised with the plot. In fact, the plot overall is very basic. The addition to the Justice League isn't really bringing much to the table and Trigon is just your typical Satan trying to take over the world. I really thought that this movie is just going to be another corporate DC executive cash-in because the story is predictable, the villain is meh, and the Justice League was just there to added attention. But then, this scene happens. This is an opportunity for us to become more familiar with each other. How much more familiar can we get? We've already seen Garfield lick himself. As a dog, I wish. That's right, DC turns this movie into a slice of live anime. And I love it! This scene is one of the most refreshing scenes that I have seen in a DC movie in a while. And it turns from what looks like a really bland and boring movie into a surprisingly entertaining one. This scene alone brings a lot of humanity to the Teen Titans and hell, even to Damian Wayne! Damian Wayne, a character that I hate! 
is really likable in this movie. He is completely redeemed of the sins that he made in the other three movies, and this movie serves his character an actual justified character arc. Yes, he does have a character arc, and a really significant one at that. While the plot of this movie is incredibly predictable, this movie is tight and knows what to focus on what kind of story that it wants to tell. It tells the story of Raven being the daughter of the evil Satan Trigon, who wants to take over the world, and they capture it really well for this movie. Raven gets a great amount of focus and attention. Her character is likable and sympathetic enough to make me care for her just on this movie alone. There's an absolutely tear-jerking scene involving her, and it is amazing. Oh, and if you love to pair Robin slash Raven, you will love this movie. So with that being said, I am thankful that this movie turned out to be just as well as it should be. It's a huge surprise coming from someone who hated Damian Wayne, but this movie does what his original trilogy didn't do, giving him a proper character arc and a degree of humanity. And it actually does even more than that. It faithfully portrays all of the Teen Titans members in a significantly better incarnation than the disgrace that was Teen Titans Go, and it tells a simple, contained, focused, and condensed story of the Trigon arc. So I'm gonna give Justice League vs Teen Titans 4 star out of 5. It's a surprisingly fun movie that can be both funny and emotional at times, especially if you love the cartoons. Go freaking watch it, you will not regret it. That's all for the video today. If you like this, you can go ahead and click the like button and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.